It might be the best kept secret in Battlefield 4, but the L85A2, in my opinion, is the best weapon to be using right now in the game. I've said before that this weapon is a beast, and today decided that it deserved an entire dedicated video. The gameplay you see in the background was recorded recently using this amazing gun, and I'll say straight from the outset, the weapon has pretty much no recoil to speak of, so you can focus on other aspects of your gameplay and become a better player, but in the process use a weapon that many consider to be the best in the game. So to start things off, I will say that I had a video not too long ago looking at the best assault rifles in Battlefield 4. Some of you agreed with me, some of you disagreed a little bit. I suppose you can't really disagree with some of the weapons on that list because they are statistically the best. But the L85A2 is one of those weapons that a lot of people don't really think about using. It doesn't have a particularly great rate of fire the reload isn't fantastic the damage model isn't like the bulldog or the scar h it's not particularly great at long range nor is it the best up close what i will say though is it is probably the best all-rounder and as you'll come to see through this video as we look at it it's a great weapon for those players that want to stop relying on the fast rate of fire AEK or FAMAS when you're in close quarters and really want to focus on becoming a better player, hitting those bullets and making sure that they can focus on their positioning and their accuracy. The weapon itself is a bullpup rifle and this gives you certain advantages. I didn't realize this for a long time, I just thought the bullpup was a slightly different variation of the weapon and maybe the difference was just visual. The bullpup rifles though do give you much better performance on the move. You get massive hip fire benefits. The trade-off is that you get slightly higher spread when standing and aiming down sights. So it's designed to be used on the move. The easy to predict recoil pattern though, and as you can see in the background, I'm gonna give you some examples of this. It means you can take on players at medium range and even that longer range. Everybody knows in Battlefield 4 that bursting makes even the most amazing close quarters weapons like the FAMAS perfectly usable at medium range. If you are accurate, if you can spot your enemy, 3D spotted making this a little bit easier in BF4, you can burst and take them down. A lucky headshot in there will make it seem like you've got a laser cannon on your hands, even if you're using the AEK, which is predominantly a close quarters weapon. The L85A2 is one of those weapons that will seem very, very good if you hit your first shot. That low first shot recoil multiplier means your bursts will be easy to predict and it just adds to the weapon's ease of use and the predictable handling and nature of the weapon. With a reload time at 2.55 seconds and 3.75 seconds when empty, it's really not perfect. A poor reload speed, to be honest, when there's no bullets remaining. However, it's not too bad with ammo remaining. A bit of practice and you'll find yourself reloading with a couple of rounds remaining. Maybe you'll be relying on a secondary, so going for the G18 or Deagle is what I'd suggest, both of which have great stopping power in close quarters and are what you really want to be switching out to if somebody catches you off guard. Looking at this recoil pattern then, and it might be a little different for the console players, but essentially all I'm doing here is pulling down on the mouse. Some weapons will require you to pull to the side slightly for the first few rounds, or maybe the whole recoil pattern moves off to the side and then stops. I'll be bursting for five or six rounds, at least that's what I'm trying to do with this weapon, so working out how to control that, getting used to it with my sensitivity is essential. Maybe a couple of hip fires thrown in there, my accuracy isn't great, it's around 20% on all weapons. A good game is 23-24%, a bad game about 16-17%. Good players who get 25% plus regularly will dominate with this weapon. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And players who have poor accuracy will probably see that improve if they use this weapon correctly. So should you be mag dumping or bursting? I personally believe that you should be trying to hit that first shot, and if you do so, a burst should be enough to kill an enemy. If you do have to mag dump, the weapon's perfectly capable of doing so. You don't get a whole lot of rounds in the magazine, it's certainly not a small mag, but you'll certainly rinse through those if you're mag dumping enemies. Maybe two enemies will all you be able to kill before reloading. If you're bursting and you're a little more efficient with your rounds, three or four enemies before a reload is probably as far as you'll get. Hipfire people within 10 meters, perfectly good hipfire on the weapon. As I said, you can run a laser sight on this weapon 
although learning to turn it on and off is tricky i've also noticed the ui is a little bit buggy when you turn it on or off so you can kind of get confused with whether you've left it on running without the laser is perfectly suitable as well one thing i will say is if you are confused whether it's on or off just look at the crosshairs you could notice a big difference between the two when you flick it on or off making you more accurate in those close quarters in terms of other attachments to run as i went through in that previous medic assault rifle video the heavy barrel and stubby grip is how i'd approach this weapon the heavy barrel improves accuracy at the expense of stability but this weapon being incredibly stable already you just get a little bit better with that accuracy and the stubby grip will reduce the spread increase per shot by 15 percent essentially meaning you can mag dump an enemy a little more easily if you need to you'll get a bit more accuracy using these attachments when it comes to the sight you use on this weapon you have a bit of choice really some people do like to use some zoom on the weapon i don't like that at all maybe it's something for you considering how easy the recoil is to control something a little bit different you know if you want to spice it up but what most people will use is a reflex a cobra something like that for me i like to use a sight and this goes for any game really that has a very slim housing around it and that means that you get better peripheral vision here's an example of using different sights and as you can see Using one with a thicker housing really impairs your vision, especially if there's an enemy that is just to the side of the enemy you're aiming at and you almost get tunnel visioned, which isn't the worst thing, to be honest, if you're just focusing on one enemy. But as many people will know, Battlefield has lots of enemies coming from everywhere. And that is why it's important to maybe keep a smaller housing. Where is on this your weapon site? going to perform best if you're looking to maybe jump on Battlefield for today? I've found that it really performs the best if you're on Conquest. Maybe Rush is somewhere that it might succeed at, but I prefer if I'm going close quarters to use an AEK or a FAMAS, maybe a shotgun. If I'm going longer range, this weapon's okay, but the SCAR H is my weapon of choice. Conquest, you tend to always be at that 20 to 30 meter range if you're jumping onto objectives, and it's quite a versatile weapon. TDM, it did work well, but again, I found myself really struggling against the likes of the AEK and the Medic class, which everybody runs. Switching out to the G18 a lot did seem to be the way to go. The Deagle is good, but again, it relies on you hitting those shots. While the G18, it's a fast-firing automatic weapon. In close quarters, you get more lucky hits. It's just the nature of it. So maybe that's the weapon I'll stick with. Also, sticking a silencer on your secondary, it gives you that option if there's just the one enemy who's not facing you, switch to the secondary, kill them, don't give away a position. It's always a good option. I like to run smokes on the medic class. This is because pushing objectives, getting around vehicles, maybe just throwing smokes as some incentive for my team to push forward. When you see smokes, you tend to run through. Definitely what I will run in pretty much any battlefield game. Um, especially Battlefield 4, running smokes is really important. Of course, I'm running the defibs, charging them up and going for 100 if possible. And then the med pack. You could run a med bag, to be honest, at this point. It's down to personal preference. This is how I've been playing the game for a long, long time, and it's how I prefer to set up my loadout. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, taking a look at the L85A2, a weapon that I believe to be one of the most underused weapons, but definitely one of the top performing assault rifles in the game. In my opinion, it's the best assault rifle, to be honest, in the game. If you did enjoy it, feel free to leave a like down below. Hopefully with the next Battlefield game, we'll have a load more of these loadout episodes. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.